Hello everyone, we are back with another tutorial video. This one is one we've had feedback from customers on. It's very important. It's also going to save me a lot of explaining to do over the winter period. And it is about charging the leisure batteries or battery in the particular instance of this van. So if you have watched the tutorial videos on the signature kit and the executive, you will know that they come with either one or two leisure batteries, but they all charge the same way. So I have myself one of our donor vans here to show you. And what we're going to do is show you a few little handy tricks, things to look out for and what you should do. Now I'm going to start this video by saying cycle. So in terms of how often should you charge your van? On handover, I say to everybody, you want to be charging your van at least once a month and you want to be plugging your van in for five to six hours as a minimum. I'm in a lucky position with my particular van and that's because I use it every single day. So I travel to work in it, I pick the kids up from school and I do my shopping, etc. in that van. It is a daily use vehicle for me. A lot of people though, they have their camper vans and they have a secondary vehicle that they use all the time and their vans can often sit for a week to two weeks at time. Sometimes in some instances, even longer. This is gonna be very important to them. So yes, the van has a battery to battery charger on it. Yes, the van has a solar panel on it. However, at this time of year, you're going to find it's getting dark by four o'clock and it doesn't get light again until seven o'clock the next morning. So we have a very limited amount of time during the day where the solar panel is going to work. More importantly, we have poor quality light because of the weather. So the solar panel is only doing what it can do and it needs a little bit more help and support. And at this time of the year, this is where plugging your van in becomes very important. So. When you purchase your camper van from us, we supply you with an electric hookup cable. I'm going to take this out of the mains here just to show you. The electric hookup cable is a 10 meter cable and it comes with a connection allowing you to plug it into the campsite and into the van. What you want to do is you want to get yourself one of these. This is a little extension lead that allows it to be plugged into the three pin mains. And this is what we have throughout the showroom, which allows us to keep the vans topped up before you collect them. It's simply connects and clamps down into place, then allows you to connect this to the mains. Plug it in, switch it on. Go to the end of your electric hookup cable. Again, you'll all be used to doing this on a campsite and plug it into the van. And how often again do I recommend you do this? I always say at least once a month. Lift the flap up for your electric hookup and connect it inwards. It's as simple as that. Now, Something you need to look for, I'm going to jump in the van and my cameraman's going to stay here because I've queued him up before this, is in your rear cupboard of an executive kit or in your rear cupboard of a signature kit, you will have a black box here. This is your battery to battery charger unit and you will have a green light that comes on. If the green light doesn't come on, it means someone's pushed this button here. And what that means is it's not charging. So yes, your van's plugged into the mains, but it's not charging. As long as this green light is on, it's now charging. So always make sure that green light's on. Why would that not be on? Well, it just means somebody's knocked it or pressed it when they've been maneuvering things in and out of their cupboards. So plug the van in and we do this in the showroom. We cycle the vans on a daily basis. So we work our way through the showroom, plugging in multiple different vans and basically making sure that each of them have had a good charge. Five to six hours is a minimum recommended time that I would always advise. But again, it's up to you how long you want to plug them in for. And once a month is really sort of not a minimum. I wouldn't go mad. I wouldn't be plugging them in every other couple of days, but I certainly would be plugging them in once a month. And again, getting that decent amount of charge time in. What you do now is going to benefit you in the summer next year. If you look after your leisure battery over a winter period, when you come to use the van next year, you are going to reap the benefits because your battery is going to be in a fantastically good health. And more importantly, be prepared and be ready for you to use all year round. I'm just looking across because as always, there's people walking in the showroom as we're doing these videos. So that is a bit of information about charging the van. Any more information that you would like, please feel free to email the team, sales at southlandsmotorcompany.co.uk. Telephone number is 0191 253 7030. But more importantly, something we'd also like to ask is we'd like you to like, 
subscribe and turn your notifications on for the YouTube here. We've noticed over 80% of the people watching our videos aren't actually subscribed to our channel. We have lots of content coming over the next year, which is all about the vans, about using them, about being away in them. More importantly, next year, there's gonna be videos of me being away in the van, showing you some fantastic campsites to visit as well. It's very important you get subscribed to the channel now. Thank you for watching the video. We hope it's helpful. More content will be coming very soon.